Hey guys, and welcome to WWE Interviews here on Stinger Wild, where we bring you all of the biggest names and all of the coolest interviews in the world of WWE and professional wrestling. In today's interview, Stone Cold Steve Austin pays tribute to Kobe Bryant, who tragically passed away in a helicopter accident on January 26, 2020. Bryant was only 41 years old. Nine people were killed in the helicopter crash, including Bryant's 13-year-old daughter, Gianna. Born August 23, 1978, Kobe Bryant was a basketball legend. A shooting guard, Bryant played his entire 20-season career in the NBA with the Los Angeles Lakers. He entered the NBA directly from high school and won five NBA championships. Bryant is widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. In this interview, Steve Austin shares his memories of Kobe Bryant and talks about just how much Bryant meant to him. Sean, how are you? I am doing quite well, Steve. How you doing? God dang, man. I tell you, uh, as we're recording this, it's Monday morning, and Sunday was just an absolutely... Man, I don't know, con confounding, crazy, weird day. Yes. The announcement of the death of Kobe Bryant and his daughter, Gianna. Yes. And my wife and I, Chris and I, were at the uh, sporting goods store, and we were going to get some weights for her. And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, uh, I got two text messages, one from my brother and a friend of mine here in L.A. And so they said, both at the same time, hey, man, Kobe died? And then I looked at the other, Kobe died. is Kobe dead? And, like, they're asking me. And my wife is about 10 feet in front of me, and I held up my phone just to show her the text yeah. because I couldn't believe it. It's like I got hit in the chest with a sledgehammer. Just took all the wind out of me, and I was confused. And I showed her the phone. I said, Kobe's, is Kobe dead? And all of a sudden, man, we started getting on, you know, started Googling to see yeah. what the hell happened. I guess this was around 1130. We were just shopping and running errands. I guess mm -hmm. it happened at 947 a.m. California time. And God dang, dude, just all yesterday was gray, and we were watching all the highlights and stuff like that. And even today, especially being here in Los Angeles, where, yeah. he, you know, he was he was truly a global icon. He transcended yeah. basketball. He transcended sports. He was bigger than life. And at 41 years of age, after, you know, an 18-time NBA All-Star career that lasted 20 years and recruited – you know, as a 17-year-old out of high school when he decided to go yeah. pro, just unbelievable. And his beautiful daughter, Gianna, uh, just, and, and the other, what, seven people in the helicopter? Dude, yeah, really so we, we, wanted to, we want to talk about this before we start talking about the Royal Rumble. But in my opinion, Kobe Bryant was one of those once-in-a-lifetime players. I noticed or knew of him for half of my life. And he was all of many people younger than me's life. And, and, and you, even if you're 75, you know, he was a part of your life. Yeah. For, so he, he affected so many generations of people. And the thing I respected about Kobe the most was just the way he carried himself uh, with the class and grace and, you know, and, and him doing uh, speeches, you know, the way he articulated the game, his thought process, the way he played basketball, uh, his basketball IQ was just off the charts. His talent was through the roof. And probably the defining thing, really, that a lot of people are talking about and, and is just his competitive nature and his willingness to put in the work. There's just this endless drive for perfection and for winning the game and, and also playing just so intelligently to avoid penalties. And, man, lock down people on defense. He wasn't just an offensive whiz. Mm -hmm. It was just... I'll, I'll stop rambling, but the, the the totality is still, and we still get misty-eyed when we're watching Kobe stuff on the TV just this morning in, in L.A. Yeah. There has been literally no talk about everything else that's going on in the world right now. That's how much he meant to everybody worldwide and, and really specifically, you know, Los Angeles.
Thanks heaps guys for tuning into the video. Be sure to drop a scorpion death drop on that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome pro wrestling action from the WWE, the WCW and much more.